This is an example on how to calculate probabilities of independent and dependent events. In my example here, I have a bag which contains 9 red marbles, 10 white marbles, and 8 blue marbles. You draw 4 marbles out at random without replacement. So this word without replacement is very important. Why? Because as I draw out each of my four marbles one at a time, I am not going to put that marble back in the bag. So this means that my events are dependent. <laughs> so what is the probability that all marbles are red? <laughs> well, the probability all marbles are red. So first drawing, I get a red marble. Second drawing, I get a red marble. Third drawing, I get a red marble force drawing, I get a red marble. I'm going to calculate each of these probabilities and then multiply them together. Remember, this is being done without replacement. So the total number of marbles I have <clears throat> will decrease by one each time. So drawing number one, I have how many marbles total? It's 27 marbles, 9 plus 10 plus 8. So out of my 27 marbles total, how many are red? 9. Then we go to draw the second marble out. Now I only have 26 marbles left. How many are red? Well, there were 9, but the first trial I pulled one out, so now there's 8. Third drawing, there's 7 red marbles out of 25 total. And last drawing, there's 6 red marbles out of 24 total. <clears throat> now you can choose to multiply all of these together. Multiply the tops together, multiply bottoms together, or you can go ahead and simplify the fractions. 9 over 27 becomes 1 third. Why? Because you divide the top and bottom both by 9. 8 over 26 becomes 4 over 13. 7 over 25 cannot be simplified. And 6 over 24, you divide the top and bottom both by 6 to get 1 fourth. Now, 1 times 4 times 27 times 1 is 28. Then 3 times 13 times 25 times 4 is 3,900. What is 28 divided by 3,900? It is point zero zero seven. I rounded to three decimal places. Part B. What is the probability that exactly two of the marbles are red? So we're looking at all the outcomes of four marbles where two of them are red. So one possibility would be red, red, not red, not red. So I'm going to find the probability of each of these outcomes here. So first trial here. <clears throat> probability of getting a red marble is 9 marbles out of 27. Then second marble being red, there's now only 8 marbles out of 26 marbles total. Third trial, or third marble, there's now only 25 marbles to pick from. How many are not red? Well, there's 8 blue and 10 white, so that would be 18. Force trial or force drawing, I now only have 17 marbles that are not red out of 24 marbles total. Remember, I'm having one less marble every single time. And I had one less red marble in my second trial, and then I had one less not red marble in my force trial. So you can multiply together your fractions, or you can simplify. 9 over 27 is 1 third. 8 over 26 is 4 thirteenths. 18 over 25 does not simplify, neither does 17 over 24. <laughs> Multiply the numerators together. 4 times 18 times 17 is 1,224. Multiply the denominators together. 3 times 13 times 25 times 24 is 23,400. And this is not my final answer, but just the intermediate step to get me there. So do not round whatever this is.
it is actually going to be point zero five two three zero seven. <clears throat> but wait, this is just one possible way that you could get two red marbles when you draw out four. So the first two could be red, last two could not be red. Let's list some other outcomes where exactly two of the marbles are red. There is red, not red, not red, <coughs> red. There is red, not red, red, not red. There is not red, not red, red, <coughs> red. And there is not red, red, not red, red. And the last one is not red, 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 not red. These are all the different ways you could get exactly two red marbles. Notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six ways total. So what you do is you take this probability we calculated and multiply it by six. So six times 0 0.052307, which this will be our final answer. So go ahead and round the three decimal places. You get 0 0.314. That is the probability you get exactly <coughs> two red marbles. Last part, what is the probability none of the, none of the marbles are red? <coughs> So we're after not red on the first drawing, not red on the second drawing, not red on the third drawing, not red on the fourth drawing. Remember, without replacement. So the total number of marbles we have each time will get less. The total of not red marbles we have each time will also be fewer. <laughs> so what is the probability we get a marble that is not red on the first trial? Well, that would be 18 marbles that are not red out of 27 total. <clears throat> Second trial not red, well that would be 17 marbles now out of 26. Third trial not red, 16 marbles now out of 25. And fourth trial not red, 15 marbles out of 24. You can go ahead and multiply your tops together, bottoms together, <clears throat> or you could simplify your answer. 18 divided by 27, that would be 2 thirds. 17 over 26 does not simplify. 16 out of 25 does not simplify, but 15 over 24, that's 5 over 8. Multiply the numerators together, get 2,720. Multiply your denominators together, you'll get 15,600. Divide the top by the bottom, and you'll get 0.174. So what we did was we just calculated probabilities of two events, or four events I should say, that were dependent. Thanks for watching.